Uh, what got me interested in selling electric vehicles is, uh, especially Chevy, is how well it works for the common person. Um, you can, they have a one pedal drive mode that's more or less like how the Tesla works. They also have the ability to drive just like any other regular car. So you don't have to know how to drive an electric vehicle. It is just like driving a regular car. My name is Douglas Morris. I work at McGuire Chevy Cadillac here in Ithaca, New York. Brake, press the button, it tells you to wait, and now you are ready to go. You know, put your left thumb on the button that's right here, put it down, you get in the drive. Tell me more what these alphabets mean. So the, the P right here is your button for park. So when you come to a complete stop, you can press the P button and the car will go and park. To initiate any sort of gear change, there's a little button here on the left hand side and you would press that button mm -hmm. and shift into drive. Um, to get into your one pedal drive mode, you shift it into the L and then we put it into low. And now we are in one pedal drive mode. Let's see what power we're using right now. foot off the gas you'll see that the vehicle starts to slow down and will regenerate power you also have the brake that I talked about on the steering wheel mm -hmm. so we'll press that and the vehicle will slow down also have blind spot monitoring in the vehicle Rear traffic alert. Is there any features that you like in particular in the Chevy Bolt? So the feature that I particularly really like is is the one pedal drive mode. Um, the fact of that I never have to press the brake. I can just let my foot off of the gas and coast around a corner, and it is regenerating all the power that I would be losing normally will be regenerating back when I am going to slow down. Um, the, your depth perception will take a little bit to get used to, um, but as of right now, I have not touched the brake at all. This is all one pedal drive mode. As you can see, it comes to a complete stop um, when I let my foot off the gas. I never have to press the brake, which is amazing to me that you can drive a car like a golf cart. <laughs> and it's, as we'll be able to see coming up here on 13, that this is no golf cart. This is way faster than any golf cart you've ever experienced. Does zero to 60 in 6.6 .6 seconds. So the 2020 Bolt has 266 pounds of torque. Uh, the torque on the vehicle is immediate upon arrival of you hitting that gas. Um, it makes it really nice uh, during the winter time. You put a set of snow tires on the vehicle and the vehicle drives probably better than most of your standard sedans that you were to drive during the winter time that are front wheel drive. So if you would like, you can actually pull up the bird's eye view and the front camera on while you are driving. Um, it is kind of cool to see what your bird's eye view looks like. Um, it uses all the cameras in the vehicle to create an image as if that there's a bird looking over your car. Um, 
so you can kind of see everything that's going on around your car um, which makes it nice if you are in tight quarters in tight traffic um, you can see everything that's going on if you want to change a lane you have all those cameras to do that um, you can go through there and you can actually get your cameras and do certain things that zoom into certain areas of your vehicle um, right now I have it turned on the rear I think that the dashboard on the Chevy Bolt is as close to a regular sedan that you can get with the expectation that you're driving an EV. So you're expecting to see a little bit more technology, a little bit more information, um, but the car makes it to make you feel like you're driving a regular car. Um, if you wanna know more about how more efficient you can be, you have the ability to look into that, to become more efficient. Um, but there's nothing saying that you have to be super efficient with it. It's still gonna drive like a regular car. Okay, so the 2020 Chevy Bolt is in the fourth year of production. Um, they're gonna be doing a new remodel in 2021. Uh, we're not really sure when that will come out. Um, GM is slowly trickling out their manufacturing. Um, but right now the 2020 Bolt gets uh, 259 miles of estimated uh, mileage for your electric. So they, they changed the ions inside the battery to go from 239 to 259. So there was no actually upgrade to the actual battery cell itself. They changed up the, the ions to make the battery better. All right, so we're are currently looking at the, the max estimated mile that says right here on this particular bolt that you can get 274 miles on the estimated range. Um, that is fully charged. And the way this works is that the hotter it is, the way the humidity works and the weather works, this car is gonna adjust your estimated mileage based on the weather itself. Um, so typically during the hot, winter, hot months, you're gonna get better battery efficiency. Um, and during the winter time, you could lose up to 30% of your estimated mileage. Um, that doesn't mean that something's wrong with the battery. That just means that the batteries are cold. It's just like any other battery that you have um, in the household that batteries just don't work that well when it's cold. Um, and they work more efficiently if it's warm. Uh, it's the same idea with the battery cells. I think that if you're driving 60 miles a day and you're looking to have a vehicle that is completely electric, I think it's the perfect vehicle for you. Um, you're always going to be in the electric mode. You're never, it's going to be, you know, you can charge it in eight hours. It's something that if you're keeping that low of mileage, you're going to be able to be more efficient. It costs way less than gas ever would. And so my, my parents, um, do a daily drive, they have to go down to Ithaca every single day. And a part of that is having a vehicle that is electric to where they don't feel like there's that much cost to being able to run into Ithaca for 15 minutes and run back, make a half an hour drive, and it's, it's not totally free, but it's as close to free as you can get. Right on the screen, it tells you how many kilowatts you're using when you're accelerating. Um, so you can really get down to how to drive the vehicle. I'm driving downhill right now, you can see that even going at 60 miles an hour, we're still regenerating four kilowatts going downhill. Um, as soon as I let off the gas, it will start to break and regenerate even more. This is just me coasting down 13. And I get about between 15 to 30 kilowatts regenerative braking right off the bat. Uh, I would say that anything you really need to know about an electric vehicle, being a first time buyer of it, is that especially the Chevy Bolt, there's nothing super fancy about charging the vehicle, which I think is the biggest worry when you're coming into the EV market is, how am I gonna charge it? Is it gonna work for me all the time? Um, if you're not driving more than 100 miles a day, this vehicle is gonna do everything that you need it to do. Um, and it's the cost 
to have the car is way less than most of the other cars out in the market. So it's worth your investment to get there. All right, so this is our level three quick charge. You, it's right here in McGuire Chevy Cadillac. You can come up and charge your car for free. All you would have to do to use this level three DC fast charge, is you, you see right here, you got the, this is your regular home charger here. This is what you'd normally plug into. You flip it down to get to your DC fast charge. You're gonna see that it matches right up on here. Um, you'll come right up to it, you'll plug it in, you'll look over to the front of your Chevy Bolt, you'll see an orange. The orange means that it's analyzing. It's making sure that all the, all the battery currents are working together. It does take a little while, um, but you can see right on this screen, it says preparing. So most of the time when you see preparing, uh, you're gonna have the same orange light on your uh, on your Chevy Bolt. And how fast, how many miles would I get on a trip per hour? So you should be able to do 50 miles per hour. So you should be able to charge up your vehicle in about two and a half to three hours. Now, when you when you when it starts to charge you will see this green light. That light will, that means it's charging. When it is fully charged, that will be a solid green light. Um, there is no harm in leaving it on the charger. Uh, they do recommend that you take it off eventually, but you don't need to worry about that. If, okay, the vehicle's fully charged, I need to go unplug it. Um, it's something that can stay unplugged. Now, this is our level three. We have one of these. Also on the other side of the McGuire Chevy Cadillac building, we have three level two chargers that you can use at any time. It is a free service that we, we have. Um, also up at our new Nissan building, we have a level two charger up there as well. Uh, we'll be selling the new Nissan Leaf up there in the EV market. As you can tell right on here, it'll tell you that it's a 100% charge on this machine as well. I might not pop that guy. Yeah. There you go. So for home charging, the 2020 Chevy Bolt comes with a 110 volt uh, charger. So as long as you have an outlet outside your house, or if it's just inside your house and you can sneak it through your house to plug in, um, you just plug it right in. Um, that charges four miles per hour of charge. So what you can expect when you come into McGuire Chevy Cadillac is we will greet you upon arrival. Um, we suggest right now during COVID that you do make an appointment. Uh, it limits the amount of people that are in our showroom so that we can concentrate on just you. Um, you should bring your driver's license, uh, your insurance, and if you have a trade, bring in your registration, um, your title, uh, to your vehicle so that we can properly assess going through the deal. Um, we will tell you about the things that we offer here at McGuire that makes us a little bit different. Uh, we have a McGuire Family Assurance that uh, if you have involuntary unemployment, physical disability, loss of driver's license, student medical impairment, international employment transfer, self-employed personal bankruptcy, or accidental death, if any of those things that happen in the first year that you own the vehicle, we will cover up to $5,000 between what your vehicle is worth and what you owe to get you out of it. We never want any of those traumatic things to happen to you, um, but if they were to, we have your back. Um, and you can expect that when you come here, we treat you as family. Um, I'm lucky to say that I do work with my little brother. Uh, my little brother is the service manager here at McGuire Chevy Cadillac. Um, so I get to work hand in hand with my family, um, which is really important to come across. Um, because we, we do treat everybody as a family here. But the 2020 Bolt comes with a three year 36 bumper to bumper warranty. It also comes with a five year 60 powertrain and an eight year 100 warranty on the battery cells. Is there kind of like the, what was the, normal people say, was it 100,000 miles or did we go So the way the warranties work is it's three years or 36,000 miles and the same works for the five year 60. So it's five years or 60,000 and the same with the battery. It's either eight years or 100,000 miles, whichever one comes first. 
So your expected service costs are tire rotations. Um, the only way that you would ever have any more expected service costs is if you are a person that rides the brakes. Um, otherwise, your brakes should be good for at least three years. Um, Chevy does have recommended service that you can go through, um, but the minimal service that you need would be tire rotations. So I, I would say once a year, you would wanna go in and make sure that all your fluids are topped off. Um, the car is very smart. It will tell you when your expected service is to come. Um, if you download the My Chevrolet app, it'll go right to your phone. Um, even if you, you have a, a flat tire, you could wake up in the morning and you'll have uh, something on your phone that says, hey, you have a flat tire before you even go look out of your car. Um, it is very nice. It's something that everything that's in your car, everything that your car learns, you can either get right from the infotainment system or if you download the My Chevrolet app, you can have all that same information right on your phone.